oh it's such a bright sunny and hot day here in Singapore yeah hi hi to all of you guys yeah it is really hot today but still I'm gonna do what I set out to do for today which is to yeah battle 50 rocket leaders day so first things first I'm gonna show you guys where I'm at I'm here in Singapore in the center of Singapore and I'm gonna walk from here this part of the center of Singapore towards this part of the center of Singapore Chinatown and then towards Boogies and then towards uh, probably Little India and then uh, we will see how many um, team rocket leader stops I can find uh, it's gonna be quite tough but I know there's a good cluster of pokey stops at Boogies Middle Road over there so um, I hope there are a lot of um, rocket leaders over there for me to battle later on but first things first let's go ahead to purchase the rocket leaders radar okay so let's go ahead here go to my shop I mean not my shop the shop and then uh, yep I have enough coins so each rocket radar will cost 200 coins so 200 multiplied by 50 rocket radars that means that hmm that's 10,000 coins so I have to buy two my coins is left with 2,323 so let's go ahead and start buying it so I'm um, just gonna give you guys a small little tip on how you can actually uh, buy items faster just uh, you know just position the items like over there and then when you spam the exchange button you just have to spam the exchange like you know spam just one position over there you don't even need to look at the screen at all and uh, you can just keep purchasing the item that you want I know it takes a while but this was how I was doing when I was purchasing one raid pass at a time to do all those legendary raids yeah, easier than you know if you put the rocket radar like somewhere here then you press the rocket radar then you press exchange then you press the rocket radar again then you press exchange it's a slower process that's a small tip for you guys whoever that wants to um, go crazy and do what I'm doing so as I'm still pressing to purchase all those 50 rocket radars I would like to let you guys know that to me this is the toughest if not one of the toughest shiny Pokemon to ever get shiny Bagon, shiny Stentler, or shiny Meow. Is it Meow? Um, yeah, whatever that comes out. <laughs> a, a sh shadow form. Yeah, these are the toughest to get because uh, you have to, you know, either like do a lot of grunts or purchase a lot of rocket radar to battle them to try to get yourself this uh, shadow shiny. So I'm at 2,523 coins. Let's purchase the last rocket radar. Ah, all right, that should be 50. Let's go ahead and check it out. Yes, 50 rocket radars indeed. Whew, it's gonna be a tough grind. And as I'm also battling the leaders, I'm gonna battle whatever grunts and decoy grunts that appear for me also. So I'm not gonna waste any time. And let's just scan the area first to see what we have. Okay, we have a good number of uh, rocket leaders around me. But the two over there on the left, uh, nah, I don't think it's a good idea to go for them because it's in the hospital and to go for just two over there to cross the road, nah, it's not worth it. So I think I'll just head towards the direction up north. There should be more over there. There should be more pokey stops over there. I don't think I'll be going for the one on the right also, just to save a bit of time. So there's just one over here. And uh, just to give you guys a bit of tip, if you guys uh, you know only play with just one rocket radar, you guys can take a screenshot of it and then after that you can look at your photos to see where the leaders are but since I've purchased 50 of those I don't think I need to take a screenshot of any of them because I can just keep scanning and scanning and scanning to locate the locations of the leaders so here we go let's go to the first one so the thing is I'm gonna just note down two or three uh, leaders so I can target to go for the next one right after I tap and go for the first one okay just the very first rocket leader that I'm going after and there's a bit of issue already look my GPS is in the wrong position and yeah not good not a good start. So I decided to use another road to head to that pokey stop. I think there's a small little alley here. All right, so I made it to the first rocket leader and I'm not gonna show you guys every single battle that I'm gonna do because it's gonna take a super duper long time and the video is not just gonna be 20 or 30 minutes long. It's gonna be maybe two hours long if I show you guys, maybe even five hours or 10 hours long if I show you every single battle. But here first, rocket leader, Sierra has just appeared. But before that, I'm gonna show you guys my rocket leader count where is it i'm at 1557 so by the end of the day i should be at 1600 ish um 1607 
blast and above otherwise mission fail so let's start off with that yeah I just need to finish all my rocket radars I know some of you guys might be thinking though Brandon why do you purchase 50 um, rocket radars when you should actually just purchase one then after that you know memorize the place and after that uh, fight the next one if there are grunts in between I can get the mysterious component right yeah but it's just for the sake of the video for you guys to be entertained with the 50 uh, rocket radars Sierra here we go all right Sierra is down let's check nope not shiny I'm gonna fast catch semi fast catch it just to make sure that I catch every single shadow Pokemon Another thing I forgot to mention to you guys though, out of those 1,557 uh, Team Rocket battles, uh, roughly 120 of them were the leaders, and I don't have a sh shiny shadow Pokemon at all. Yeah, ask me why? Because I'm unlucky. Over here, just here, I need to memorize where we are heading to. Okay, just hit straight and then over there, awesome. I know where I'm going to already. Alright, battle number two done against Arlo. Let's check if it's a shiny Bagon. Never mind, next. Alright, battle number three done against Cliff. Let's check. Yeah, nope. Not shiny Stentler, but it's fine. Trying to can't even throw the ball already. Okay, next. Yeah. Next one is here already. Alright, fourth battle done against Arlo. Let's check. <sighs> yep, nope. Alright, fifth battle done against Arlo again Whew, wow alright battle number 6 done nope not shiny next alright leader number 7 Arlo defeated again no shiny <sighs> so sad alright battle number 8 against Cliff let's check Stantler nope Whew, this is tougher than I expected nah I'm still, we still have 42 more to go right <laughs> Alright, battle number 9 against Sierra. Let's see. Yeah, rah. Okay, never mind. Next. Alright, I'm done with battle number 10 against Arlo. Bye bye. Yep. So, another thing though, since uh, I'm on number 10, I can have a short break. Yeah. So, I'm just gonna drink some water because it's super duper hot. Yep, I need to drink a lot of water. And that's that, it's done. I need to go and buy more water because it's super duper hot here right now. And another thing though, I'm not only just hitting the Team Rocket leaders, I'm also sending my gifts. Also at the same time, uh, dumping berries into the gym. <laughs> yeah, so I'm like doing a lot of things, even doing a bit of quest along the way. So efficiency for battling the Team leaders isn't at 100%. But still, um, just less than an hour and I've already done like 10. Going at a good pace, faster than I, what I expected. I thought I was gonna do like maybe five or seven in an hour, but it looks like 10 in an hour is like easily doable. Anyway, three more up ahead. Let's go for number 11. Battle number 11 done. Oh my God. Battle number 12 done. <laughs> The audio has a bit of issue. You can hear both the fighting and the rewards song at the same time. Let's see what happens if I press a rescue app. I think it should be fine. Yep, okay, but never mind. Number 12. Battle number 13. Yeah. Battle number 14. Yep, let's check this. Whew. Again, Sierra. Nope. I just realized that I don't actually have the time to battle the grunts or in fact the decoys at all because uh, once I'm done with you know catching and whatever I need to spend time to send gifts and do a bit of quests and clear my stuff such that I don't have the time to even uh, do a single grunt I haven't even done a single grunt at all after doing like 14 what leader battles my god Alright I'm done with raid number 15 Nope, I'm walking here in Chinatown. Uh, people are preparing for Chinese Year. Yep, Year of the Red. You guys can hear a lot of uh, construction noise going on there. No worries. Battle number 16, I think. But it's definitely not a uh, shiny. 
not I think, definitely. Alright, rate number 16 done. I had a bit of an issue just now. I left the Poké stop already and I was battling along the way and then uh, when it was time for me to claim the reward, I couldn't claim it so I had to double back to get this one again. But it's okay. Okay, it's not okay, it's not shiny. Phew, next one. I just realised I miscalculated. It's uh, already number 18, not 17. Yeah, I can check with my uh, rocket radar later. <sighs> okay, never mind. Yeah, so that was 18 as I'm left with only 32 uh, rocket radars. Okay, cool. 32 more to go, let's go. Alright, number 19 done. Let's see. I'm getting a bit hungry also though. Hungry for shiny. But it's not coming. And also hungry for food. But I'm gonna eat in a while's time, not now. Alright, I'm done with battle number 20 and I'm here at Clark Key where it's a quite a popular spot for tourists to come and <laughs> not a popular spot for <laughs> shiny shadow Pokemon. Never mind. <laughs> Alright, I'm approaching battle number 21 against Arlo and I'm here. Oh, it's a very very hot day in front of uh, the National Gallery of Singapore. LOL, my egg was hatching until I forgot to show you guys what I wanted to show you guys. <laughs> yeah, I wanted to scan again to show you guys the surrounding. Hmm, not many around me right now. So, uh, I probably will clear this, clear the one on the left, clear the one on the left north, and then clear the other two that's like side by side over there. Can't zoom in there though. And then uh, head towards north again, because uh, there should be more Pokestops over there. I mean, not should be, there are more Pokestops over there. That's the place that I want to show you guys. And on the right side, there ain't uh, too many Pokestops there. So let's clear this and then uh, we will proceed on to the other one that's up ahead. Uh, before I go for lunch. Last two before I go for lunch. 21 against Arlo. Never mind. Woo. Battle number 22 done against Sierra. Not a shiny Epsol, but too bad. Just gonna, just gonna fast catch it as usual semi fast catch provided I hit the episode let's not look at it at all I'm not gonna look at it at all yeah yeah so anyway I've made it to here a shopping mall yep Funan shopping mall and it's actually a newly renovated shopping mall and I have not been back to here since I left Singapore for such a long time and before I left Singapore, it was still under renovation and it used to be an IT mall. Uh, now I heard that it has turned into like a food mall where there are a lot of food in there. So I'm gonna rest for a while, have my lunch and also uh, use the restroom um, and not to find any more leaders. I'm super hungry as well. <sighs> Alright, done with lunch. I actually ate a lot. <laughs> yeah, I drank a soup, ate Caesar salad, and also ate a bowl of sashimi on rice. And I forgot to show you guys that I've already done raid number 23. Not raid, battle number 23. So, heading up ahead, there are two more Team Rocket leader Pokestops there. And those will be 24th and 25th. Okay, raid number, I mean battle number 24. Okay, let's do the 25th one. It's already here and I'm sitting down. Yeah, because I'm already at the next bulky stop. Yeah. Battle number 25 against Cleef done. Let's check. Uh, again, no. Anyway. I'm at number 26 bulky stop already. Just here. Yeah. Alright, you guys won't believe this. I completed battle number 26. And it is against yeah let's see now stand to the game which is cliff four cliffs in a row my god uh, anyway going for 27 now okay so i made it to the team rocket leader poke stop number 27 and uh, it's another cliff seriously five cliffs in a row what's going on but that's not what i want to show you guys um show you guys uh, what we have around me well, we don't really have a lot of uh, leaders to go after despite having so many Pokestops in front. Yep. 
So this place is actually near Bugis Junction. It's just you know beside Bugis Plus, and this is where I normally do my walking grind uh, when I was grinding for research task back in the days last year actually when I was doing my live stream or so and unfortunately there ain't too many um, rocket leaders but never mind I'm gonna clear all of them and then uh, we're gonna shiny check all of them again another 24 more to go right yeah, 24 okay battle number 27 done yet again another cliff Whew, but it's not shiny again <sighs> next we're done with battle 28 which happens to also be another cliff yeah six cliffs in a row like really my god and i'm already under one of the team rocket leader pokestop and i hope it's not cliff again all right caught there let's check seriously seven cliffs <laughs> what all right still number 29 here i come Battle number 29 done, which also happens to be the 7th cliff in a row. I hope I get something good. Wow, looks really good. Not! Okay, I'm approaching another Team Rocket Leader stop. I hope it's not cliff. Yeah, looks like it's not, luckily. Otherwise, I was going to say, if it's cliff again, I'm really going to jump off the cliff. Yeah. Anyway, thank you Arlo for appearing. Otherwise, uh, you guys may not see this video at all. Yeah. <laughs> all right, battle number 30 against Arlo. Whew. Oh my god, 30 and no shiny yet. Man, anyway, I'm at a place that, uh, you know, they're selling a lot of stuff for shiny tea here. So it's very noisy. The next uh, Poké stop is just up ahead or so. Mm. All right, battle 31 against Sierra. Oh my god, that's pretty high CP, 558. But that's not what I'm looking for. I'm looking for a shiny. Where is it? Anyway, bad news. Yeah, it's getting a bit dark. The sky is getting dark and it's about to rain. Nope, 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 nope. If it rains, I have plan B and plan B is to um, sleep. Yeah. Alright, number 32 done and I actually bought two cups of watermelon juice to drink to hydrate myself. Um, uh, but I don't think I need too much hydration because it's about to rain and I don't need that much rain. Anyway, not shiny. Next. Battle 33 against uh, Arlo. Yeah. Oh my god, what's going on? Zero, zero and I don't see anything. Uh, and uh, yeah, the wind is picking up and the sky is getting dark. Let's see if I can collect the reward. Okay, good. Whew. But also not good. Of course it's not shiny. Battle number 34 against Sierra. <sighs> My god, seriously. How many battles does it take to get a shiny? Just one. Just one. Yeah, I've done over 160 already in total. My god. Ho oh, oh. ho. Battle number 35 and it's not gonna be a shiny again. Let's see. It's ridiculous. Yeah, 235. <laughs> Battle number 36. <laughs> this is becoming a joke. I swear. A big fat joke. Ah, uh, my god. Yep, the wind is picking up. But I'm done with battle number 37. 13 more to go. Wow. Okay, let's check this. CP is quite high though, but we're four, right? I just want a shiny. Come on. Battle 38 against Sierra Dan. Come on. Oh, seriously? My god, this is atrocious. This is really testing my patience, man. <laughs> Battle 39 against Arlo. Rocket leader battle number 40 <laughs> Okay, anyway, there are a total of three uh, rocket leaders here. That's why I'm sitting down here Yeah, I have a lot of confidence in this raid number I mean battle number 41 
to not be a shiny. <laughs> Again. And yes, it's time to shiny check number 42. Let's see now. Almost at 1,600. Uh, Team Rocket battle's done. Number 43. Here we go. Oh, away. So, okay, I'm left with 7 rocket radars Means I've done 43 just to double confirm on that number And I'm gonna scan the surrounding again to see what we have <laughs> 2 Among all these bulky stops Yep, my god Maybe I need to go to another place after this Yeah, hmm, it's fine Okay, I'm done with the next battle but I was kind of a bit engrossed with um, thinking about stuff and then um, I accidentally pressed uh, rescue the Pokemon already and I've seen the Pokemon! Yeah, you guys won't believe what it is. It is a Stantler and it is... Not shiny, Shadow. Yeah, Shadow! Exciting. Next one, please. Battle number 45 done. <laughs> okay, let's see now. Last six. Oh my god, really? Anyway, I'm on uh, two Pokestops that have uh, two uh, team leaders right now. Whew, let's uh, try our luck <laughs> again. <laughs> my god, this is ridiculous. Battle 46 against Sierra. Ah, 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 ah. Why no shiny? Why? 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 Is there a bug? Done with number 47, last 3. Whew, still not shiny. Why? Anyway, I'm gonna catch a train to head to another area of uh, the city, the central area. Which you know, I'm heading towards uh, Geylang, which is the red light district of Singapore. But there are a lot of poke stops there and hopefully I can find the last three uh, leaders and that's kind of also the direction towards my home. As in not the red light district but past the red light district. So I just took a 15 minutes train ride from Little India to Aljunit MRT station and I've arrived near Geylang and this is another grind spot where I kind of go to because it's quite near my house. Let's scan the area. Oh wow, <laughs> what the, why there's so many, okay so I just need to walk up a hit in front and I can clear three so easily there are like five there, I'm just gonna clear three, no more, I'm not giving more money to Niastic, seriously after like what 47 and I don't get a shiny, I mean okay fine if I get a shiny out of the last three, I will clear another ten more, how about that, I highly doubt that's gonna happen. Alright, the third last battle is against Cliff. Let's see. Okay, L last two chances. Okay, yeah, last two chances. <laughs> Here we go. Second last battle, yet again against another uh, Cliff. And it's Shadow Shinyless Stantler. Yeah, Merry Christmas, Brendan. So anyway, I'm left with my last rocket radar and I'm right under the last and final rocket leader that I'm gonna battle today. Yep, Sierra, here we go. Okay, that's it. That's it. Shiny or stop. Okay, shiny or stop. <laughs> the last and final chance. Last and final chance. Well, last and final chance uh, to get a shiny and I didn't get it after 50. Yeah, Team Rocket Battles. I'm gonna head back home because I'm sweaty. I'm so feeling so salty, not just in me, but also salty all over because I've been sweating so much. And then I'm gonna conclude and tell you guys my thoughts. Okay, so let's uh, jump to that. Uh, just jump back home, alright? Jump to my home, okay? Let's go there now. And well, I made it back home after traveling for roughly an hour and I took roughly half an hour to shower because I just wanted to chill a bit and let my muscles um, relax for a while. 
So, yeah, I would like to talk to you guys about a few things, but before we do that, I am going to show you guys my uh, shadow collection today. So let's go ahead to type shadow, and also in order to get Absol, Bagon, and Stentler out, you know, what we should type is uh, N, Absol, comma, Stentler, comma, Bagon. So yes, 50. Team Rocket Leaders done. And uh, yeah, these are all what I've gotten. I'm going to just um, IV check them right now. And then I'll let you guys know if there's anything um, nice. Otherwise, I'm just going to purify all of them. Yep. So well, um, just a quick check. I don't have any handles. Um, I think only one of them in particular has a pretty nice IV for PvP. Uh, although Absol for PvP isn't that good. Anyway, I'm going to start purifying all of them. Uh, check out my Stardust. It's going to go down like mad. Alright, so the last purification after 50 purifications. Yep, I'm finally done. Oh my god. Actually, it's quite fun to purify Pokemon. It's just like evolving Pokemon. I actually enjoy it. So let's now search for purify and... Uh, Epso and then the comma, then the comma, big gone. So that's 50. Yep, 50 of those purified um, rubbish, I guess, because none of them are shiny. So let's see if uh, any of them are, are handos. Oops. Yep, none of them are handos. So that is it. After completing 50 um, shadow. Pokemon like hunting uh, from the Team Rocket leaders, uh, that's the result. So, well, I know some of you guys at this point of time might be saying to yourself or even want to ask me like, Hey, Brandon, why don't you do the, you know, the two hours interval that um, exploit, which you could, you know, just uh, battle the team leader and two hours later come back to the same Pokestop and then uh, shiny check again every two hours. Well, I don't want to do that because it's like exploiting the game. And to me, i rather spend money to enjoy playing the game. Especially when I feel that the developers of the game are deserving to receive my money. However, when a problem like this arise, such that, you know, after spending 10,000 Pokecoins equivalent to 100 Singapore dollars, which is roughly around 85 or 82 United States dollars, it kind of doesn't make sense anymore, especially not even getting one when the other day when I went raiding with Auntie Gladys and, and Leo and Darwin, uh, after doing 50 raids, you know, all of us got ourselves a shiny Heatran. If you guys have not checked out that video, go ahead to check that out. And, you know, for me, I did 50 raids, the Heatran raids, and that was 5,000 coins, half the price of what I spent for today. But yet, I managed to get myself three shinies. I know some of you guys might be saying, hey, you know, the shiny shadow Pokemon might be more rare or whatever. Put it this way. To spend two times the amount of money, but yet not even have a chance to get a shiny Pokemon after doing, like, say, a total of 170 plus rocket leader, 170 rocket leader, yeah, battles, um, it kind of doesn't make sense anymore. I mean, even if you take the number and divide that by 285 chance and put that into rates, 85 rates and not getting a shiny kind of doesn't make sense also. So, well, that is one problem that I feel that might have caused a lot of people to slow down in the game or if they, in fact not want to spend money in the game and in fact not even want to spend money to buy like Rocket Radar at all since it costs two times more than a premium rate pass. And most people would rather spend, you know, the coins on two premium rate passes than on one stinking um, rocket radar. I guess it would have been different if I got myself at least one uh, shiny uh, shadow. I'm not being salty or anything. You guys saw the results. I put in the effort, I put in the time, I put in the money, but I'm not getting what I, you know, maybe some people feel I deserve to get, but I don't feel that I deserve to get. I might have to put in more effort, but how much more do I need to put in? That is the question. Like, isn't it enough? So, you know, a lot of people have quit the game, a lot of people have retired from the game because of this kind of issues like, you know, not being able to get the desired Pokemon that they want. And 
they feel that it's wasting time, wasting money, and they get nothing out of it. So, you know, I just want to give a few solutions to this problem, which I guess some of you guys might be experiencing or so. If you guys want, you guys can let me know in the comment section down below how this can be resolved. But I'm going to give three of my ideas on how this can be solved. So the first solution is to make it easier to get a shiny shadow Pokemon. So how easy it can be, I guess it could be half of the rate of getting a shiny legendary. So the rate of getting a shiny legendary from a raid is 1 in 19 chance. Whereas, you know, maybe getting a shiny shadow Pokemon could be 1 in 10, 10% chance for it to happen. It kind of makes sense, but, you know, a lot of people might be saying that it's too high. But think about this. If you were to get a shiny shadow Pokemon, what is the value? Is there any value to get a hundo or whatever? So not getting a hundo, not getting a shiny Pokemon at all for today kind of doesn't make sense. And, you know, a shadow Pokemon with frustration or even if you purify to get returned the move isn't good for pvp or pve at all a second solution would be to guarantee a shiny shadow pokemon out of a certain rate let's take one out of 80 for example so maybe out of the 80 battles that someone does one of them will be a shiny shadow pokemon and then subsequently for the second shiny shadow pokemon to appear it will be within 160 battle so it could be a you know like on battle number 150 that a person get it could be a on battle 110 that a person gets his second shiny shadow but it's within the 160 that he gets his second whereas if we look at when he wants to get his third one he needs to battle an extra 80 which within 240 he will be able to get three shiny shadow he could even get his uh shiny shadow his third shiny shadow on the 161 battle so that's another solution the third solution is an exponential decrease in the odds so what i mean by that is take for example maybe the first four battles that you do and you get you know your shiny shadow pokemon within the first four and then subsequently if you want to get your second shiny shadow pokemon it'll be one in eight and then the third shiny shadow pokemon it could be one in 16 and then the fourth shiny shadow pokemon it could be one in 32 this could also be implemented for community day shiny pokemon rates example for community day the first out of the two pokemon that you tap would be a shiny so that's one out of two odds and then for the second shiny to appear you have to tap on another four more pokemon so in total after tapping on six pokemon you will be able to get two shiny pokemon guaranteed you know you could be really really lucky and your third pokemon you know is your second shiny pokemon already whereas when we proceed on to the third shiny for the community day it could be on uh up to one out of eight that you actually get it then after that the fourth one it could be one out of 16 the fifth could be one out of 32 yeah just exponentially make it more difficult if you want to get even more um you know shiny pokemon and that would, you know, in a way, encourage people to want to try their luck at least. Because if the odds is, say, 1 in 100, you know, you could really, 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 really be super duper 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 unlucky. So, like someone like here, who did 170 battles of them, and not get a shiny shadow at all. So, does that make sense? Uh, doesn't make sense to me. So, you know, I understand that for a free-to-play player or F2P player to obtain more than one free rocket radar per day compared to getting one and a half free raid pass if we account for the 50 coins that you get from holding gyms, the price, you know, of getting one rocket radar from the shop is 200 coins. So that's why I spent so much today. And then the rewards isn't justified at all. I mean, like, Let's say even if I get five shadow shiny Pokemon, does it make sense for me to get the rewards that I'm getting compared to, you know, doing raids? Let's not talk about the XP. Let's talk about like rare candies, TMs and other things. I forgot to add one more thing though. You know, after 50 uh, rocket leader battles, guess how many Unova stone I got? Two. Well, um, I'm not after the Unova stone. I have more than enough Unova stone because I've been battling the rocket leaders. Um, but my point is, you know, I don't think a lot of people will play the game this hardcore and push the way I push and even, even spend money the way I spend. So to a lot of the regular players out there, it is really, really difficult to get a shiny shadow Pokemon. And even if you do, I guess it's just a three seconds hype moment 
that you enjoy. Whoa, you got a shiny shadow Pokemon. Then you ask yourself, like, um, what do I want to use this for? Like, is there any value to using this? Especially after doing, like, maybe 50 of those uh, leaders and you don't see any value in uh, the Pokemon at all. Not for PvP, not for PvE, not even for the new gold battle that's coming out. Yeah, I don't know why. Yeah. So anyway, that's all my thoughts and um, hopefully some of you guys can relate to how I feel. I know a lot of people are still doing uh, Team Rocket, that's good. And I also like to do Team Rockets as well. Um, don't get me wrong though, I'm not trying to like, you know, downplay the value of Team Rocket or in fact uh, downplay anything, but I really enjoy the game. I really enjoy every aspect of the game. The only thing is that when it comes to this kind of like horrendous um, shiny red, uh, which turns people off, it kind of doesn't make sense. And I feel that this problem needs to be addressed. So anyway, if you guys have enjoyed this video, don't forget to you know leave a like and also to let me know in the comment section down below how do you guys feel about the Team Rocket leaders, especially if you guys have gotten yourself any shiny shadow Pokemon before. And how many battles do you guys do to actually get your shiny shadow Pokemon? I mean, I've done like 170. I've not gotten one. It kind of doesn't make sense at all. But I'm very sure there are people out there who have done more than me who have not gotten a shiny shadow Pokemon at all. Not even one. And I feel you guys. And, you know, I just wish you guys all the best to try to get it. And just a last note though. Shiny Shadow Pokemon cannot be traded. Only, shared, only Shiny Purified Pokemon can be traded. Which makes it even tougher to get. And like I said, there is almost no value to getting it. So with that said, I'll thank, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye. Goodbye to all my Pokecoins. Damn it. <laughs>